Hello, it's T with T Quilts, and today is Wednesday, August 23rd, 2023. It is 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, and we're here for live chat. Today, we're going to do optional blocks. I got them here. And then if I have any more time, I will do cutting on the stuff that's on my board. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Just waiting for people now to get notifications that I'm here. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you're already here and you haven't hit the subscribe button, please subscribe. Matter of fact, go and check and make sure that you are still subscribed to my channel on my re reviews that I get from YouTube. They're saying that the most people that are watching are people that are not subscribed. So I find that very weird. But please go and hit the subscribe button or check your subscribe button out for me. Let's see. I got to pull you all up so I can read the chat. Because <laughs> I may not be talking to you all if my mics aren't working. <laughs> Let's see. I got to cut my volume down. I forget I'm on my regular phone. My phone I use in here is doing an update. So. All right. See if I can just sit this up on my other stand and it holds. <laughs> Pet Boo is here saying hi, Miss T and Quilters. Darcy Savelli, hi, T and all Quilters. Make sure that you give T her thumbs up and hit that bell to make sure you get notifications so you don't miss the fun. Thank you, Darcy. I'm going to pin that message. And, uh,. Deborah Quilts is here. Uh-oh, it moved on me already. <laughs> uh, saying hello to you and quilters. Melody Kiefer, hello to you and everyone. Dee Branson, hello to you and fellow quilters. Maddie Barnum, hello to you and everyone. Judy Hebert says hi to you and fellow quilters. Quilt gal, hi Miss T and everyone. Zandra, hi to you and all quilters. Francis Jackson, hello to you and everyone. Nikki B, hello T and Quilters, Ingrid Bowers, hi T and everyone, Anita Nance, hey Miss T and everyone, relaxing and listening. She's taking a break, y'all. She's normally super busy when I come on. Uh, Brenda Perkins, hey, hey T and all Quilters, Quilt Queen 22, welcome to the chat. You may be in a subscriber uh, already, but welcome to the channel. Appreciate you posting in the chat room saying hello to everyone. Norma Loveless says, hi, T. Hi, everyone. Monty Pep. Hello, everyone. Kevin the Quilter. Hey, Miss T and all T Quilters. Have to take care of the chickens and going to take a while with the heat tonight. We'll probably have to watch replay. That's Kevin. Janice Miller says, hi, T and everyone. Janet Mac McCurl. I, I don't know if it's McCurl. Uh, says, hello, T and T Quilters. Melina Montoya. Good evening, T and all T Quilters. Win Sprinter. Hello, T and everyone. I can hear you loud and clear. I <laughs> figured out the mic situation. I'll talk about that a little bit. Let me get through this. Betsy Layton saying, finally, a Wednesday night without the Muni. Hello to all from Betsy. Uh, Sheila Willis is here saying, good evening, T and all quilters. Jeff Colonia says, hello, T, Miss T and friends. Hope you are able to stay cool through the heat wave. I'm trying to stay in my house. I went out yesterday and today because I wanted to make sure uh, blocks, uh, you know, I knew we were going to be doing optional blocks tonight. Tomorrow I'm going to take a post office break. I'm not going out tomorrow. We've been having over 100 and high temps, and it is hot, humid, just um Coming back in your house, your house can be set at 78, 80, <laughs> 78 or 80. And when you come in here, you would appreciate the AC. Okay, my I think my house is set at 76 because my husband gets uh, colder. And so, yeah, when I come in here, I'll be like, oh, my God, thank you, Jesus, for air conditioning. Any other day, I'll be like, it's burning up. I'm sitting under fans. Yeah. 
it's it's something else. Vivian Calvi, hi T and everyone. Jason Lewis, good evening, Miss T and all T quilters. Hope everyone is having a great Wednesday. Minnie Dula, hello T and quilters. Uh, Darcy saying, can people who are not subscribed be here? People can chat, but you can watch the video if you're not subscribed. And that's even when the videos are uploaded. Um, only I only just recently started doing in the past two months or so where you have to be a subscriber in order to comment. Uh, Teresa Dawkins says, hi, T and everyone. Joan E says, hello, everyone. Stay cool, T. Yes. <laughs> Trying. Norma says, okay. So she was answering Darcy. Janice says, that's right, T, pronounced like Macaro. Okay. I've, I've been saying it wrong for the longest, and then today I guess I'm saying it right. <laughs> Zella McKenzie says, hi, T and quilting friends. Sue GSD, hello, T and quilting family. I'm back from Victoria vacation and have reliable internet <laughs> t roberts evening all t quilters and rent is paid which means she has hit the thumbs up so if you haven't hit the thumbs up button already please go ahead and hit the thumbs up button uh deborah sims brown says hello t and everyone minnie says girl my husband better not touch my thermostat 69 yeah i do realize my husband spends most of his day downstairs his man cave and I'm upstairs because I got all the upstairs rooms. And so I fully understand how he's always colder than I am. He comes up here sometimes and he has on like a fleece robe. And I just looking at him would make me break out and have a hot flash. It's like, oh my God, I can't. <laughs> so I'm trying to keep it in a medium range. And I haven't even touched it since it's been up, but Normally, when it's hot like this, I'll touch it. But I'm doing okay, I guess, because we don't go in and out the house. So, Dorsey says, I woke up this morning and my windows were covered in water. Oh, my goodness. It was that hot from the, uh, that much difference from the outside to the inside. Lana Dean saying, hi, everyone. Sue says, 307 days until the absolute 100% best retreat ever. <laughs> I was doing retreat stuff today. I've been trying to gather stuff up. I got like one large box and two smaller like potato chip boxes. And I'm trying to get stuff together and trying to see what I got, what I need. So I was working a little bit on that today, trying to get stuff stored. That's what I'm trying, really trying to do. And then I'll pull it out um, like... March or April of next year, and then if I need anything else, I'll finish it off. Uh, Jill Lingerfeld saying thumbs up, like so, like that. Says God's blessings to everyone. Thank you so much. Welcome. Remo says good evening, Miss T and Quilters. Thumbs up. Show your love or support. <laughs> Sue says her rent's paid. Miss Topaz is talking to Laurie. Oh, that's Laurie. I'm sorry. I don't know. Hey, T and fellow quilters. <laughs> don't take much to get me confused reading these comments. Francis says her rent was paid when she came in. Michelle, the quilter says, hello, T and all chat friends. So welcome, welcome, everybody. We didn't get a lot of blocks this month. Let me see how many I got in here just so I can count them. One, two. Whoops. <clears throat> I dropped one. That's not going to work. And it's got my name on it. <sighs> so that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. <laughs> so we got eleven blocks. Um... For those of us who will have donations, when would you like them? Would you like them before retreat? Um, yes, if it's a lot, because I need a number count so I know how many door prizes I have. So I would like to know that. Or if you could give me photo or picture and then you can just bring it to retreat, that's fine, too. 
but I'm trying to do so I know because there's different levels of gifts. Say if somebody is donating, say sewing machine needles, which cost a lot, but it's it, it comes in a smaller package, and then somebody is donating, say, uh, fat quarter bundles. I need to know like how many of the same size gift. I don't know if you paid attention last time, Sue, when I put gifts on the table, I tried to put um, my smaller price items out or similar price items together. Let me say that because everything you need, no matter what it costs, if it's a dollar, it's a gift. Um, but some things might cost a dollar where something else might cost $50. And so I try to group as much as I can. So I'll put like what I figure and I'm not doing this, like looking everything up, but I'm trying to do it by just what I think something would cost if I was buying it new in the store. So I try to put similar price gifts together. So you don't have to do that. You can just send me a picture, make sure I can kind of see what's there. Let me know how many like if you're doing a fat quarter bundle, let me know if it's a 20 fat quarter bundle or a 30 fat quarter bundle, because if it's a 30 fat quarter bundle, maybe I might add two more fat quarters to it and then make that so that everybody gets something instead of just one person winning it. It just depends on what it is and how I break it down. So that was a good question. That was the second great question. <laughs> Somebody asked one before that. <laughs> uh, Nikki says, I still need to send the cotton cuts box to you for a donation. I will get it to you soon. I haven't forgotten. No problem. Whenever it gets here. And Sue says, I'm asking to cut down on the room. I'm asking to cut down on the room needed at, at your house. Yeah. and. That's one of the things I'm trying to make sure that I get stuff put into containers. I think right now I have three retreat containers and I might break down. I still have the retreat container from leftover stuff from not necessarily leftover, but like I had extra fabrics and stuff like that that I used when we were making the bag. So I need to go over the charity box and make sure I don't need any of that stuff and I can uh, either switch what's in there for the next charity project or have another container that I can store door prizes. So I do appreciate that. Lana said, Miss T, I, did I miss where your retreat is going to be? I know I haven't been, I've been out of the loop due to illness. Um, hopefully you're feeling better, Lana. Um, let's see. Retreats. <laughs> Currently, retreats are being held in St. Louis, Missouri area. So I say metropolitan area. And that's because it's not actually in the city of St. Louis. We got so many different counties and stuff, uh, townships. And so it's, it's, I just say St. Louis. We all here no matter where we live for the most part, unless you're in one of the prestigious areas, most of us just say we live in St. Louis. So it's St. Louis area, metropolitan area. And um, that's where they're held. I have had one in Hamilton, Missouri, where Missouri Star is. That was my very first retreat was there. And it was a lot of work for me. Um, uh, Last year in 2022, when I had retreat, I had three SUVs filled with stuff. I'm in the process of thinking about whether or not I'm going to buy a trailer or not. Because what if my husband and my daughter are not available to help me get all of this stuff to retreat? I can't set up the day before. Well, I guess I could, but then I have to pay for that whole day before, uh, regardless of people being there or not. So it's just a lot to deal with. So, uh, I'm just trying to figure stuff out. So anything that somebody else can bring to retreat that I don't have to bring is a great thing. <laughs> so I remember last year, um, I had my daughter's SUV was like 75% was just snacks <laughs> because I had snacks for the retreat center and I had uh, snacks for the bus trip. So. And when you go to Sam's and you buy stuff in all these boxes, you still got to stack them and put them somewhere. So 
it was pretty funny. Um, uh, Lietta Bryant's here, say hi, T and T Quilters. My brother, Ray Mahone, says hi, sis and everyone. Damali J says hi. And good evening to Miss T and Quilters. My rent's paid and just listening. <laughs> Mary F is here. Howdy, friends. From Hot Kansas. <laughs> You're welcome, Lana. Uh, Joan E says, love your T-shirt. Thank you. And Liz Wilson says, hi, T Quilter. So let's go through these blocks. Like I said, we don't have that many of them. I think it was 11. So I have my block here. I always show you mine first. Uh, this one is a... Um, Red and white quilt, which means that you can use creams. Long as your background is a light color, you could use any color that you want. And I think people get confused when I say lights. When I say lights, I'm meaning lights. It could be it could be other colors of light. When I say creams or white, then I mean creams or white. <laughs> so, and it has nothing to do with this here. It was because of at my quilt gill, it wasn't uh, understood what the background fabrics could be. Everybody came in with white or just, um, or very light cream. And I'm the one that had all the different prints and my block looked like it was the oddball block, but anything light. And when I do lights, if I'm doing a two color quilt, I try my best to pick the fabrics that um, have that color in it. So like a cream and red or a white and red, something like that. So this is my block here. We got to play with the Tri-Rex tool. This was something for people to experience because there are some people that have never made a triangle in a square block. And so I gave you the option of using foundation paper piecing to do this, or you could use the Tri-Rex tool. And I use the Tri-Rex tool for mine. Uh, if you also have the uh, go dies in these finished sizes, then you could also have used your go die to make this. Now I made a version of this quilt. I did something else with these units in here. Uh, and it turned out really, really pretty. I'm sorry I did not go down in my storage and pull it out. It was just going to be too much work and I wasn't going to do that. <laughs> and if I come across it, because I do need to, I'm going to go look at retreat stuff because I got retreat stuff is blocking my cart where my, um, my quilt storage is. So I'm going to go down there. If I see it in the front anywhere, once I move the cart, I'll bring it. If it's in the back, I'll, I won't pull it out, but I'll let you all see it at some later date. But it's really, really pretty. But I did a simple, a simplistic version of it here, and I really like this. And then what happens is when you put your four blocks together in these corners, these units here are going to pinwheel. And so then these smaller ones are going to pinwheel too, and it's really pretty block. Molly says, Miss T, you are an awesome retreat giver. I had my first to experience and look forward to that privilege. So, yes, please. <laughs> um, Brenda Perkins says, I love your hair, T. Thank you. So this is our block. And like I said, it's a really pretty block. It was challenging for a lot of people, apparently, because I didn't get that many at the gill. I think I got like maybe 11. And then I got, no, nine, yeah, I got 10 at the gill, and then I've got 11 here. So this must have been a challenging block for people, period. Um, this one is Kevin the Quilter's block. So he used um, uh, more of your lighter creamy colors, whereas like I even got one that has like pink. A little bit of pink because it's still in the same color family. So, you know, it was just confusion on that part. All right. So let's start showing you what came in the mail. <laughs> Nikki says that is a gorgeous block. Thank you. Yes, it is. I love the Tri-Rex tool. It's one of my favorites. This one here. 
is from Brenda Foley, but the blocks are for Billy Mitchell. And she sent me a note saying something else was in here, but I still didn't remember to come open it. I think I did it today. So I'm so sorry about that, Brenda. But beautiful blocks. Look at that. <laughs> They're all so pretty. But you notice, I think, I know Rose blocks are different because I saw her in the Zoom. But look, there's a little color in this second one. Some gray going on. I like that. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. Love your fabrics. And then this was also in here says, seen this and thought of Kevin, pass on a keep from Brenda. And I'm going to open it so you all can see it. And then I'll give it to Kevin on Saturday when I see him at Scrap Club. Let's see. It looks like chicken fabric. Trying to make sure I hold it up right. So this is the fabric. Very pretty. Black background. I'm thinking he'll love this. So thank you, Brenda, for thinking about Kevin. It's really sweet. Put it right there. Next up. Mimo says, I'm loving the blocks. Sue says, printed foundation pattern for future. Oh, she printed it for future time. Was not my friend. <laughs> this one is from Francis Jackson. Very pretty. Look at those reds. Isn't it? Red and white quilts are, you know, they're beautiful. And when they're quilted up, it's going to be really even prettier. This is going to be a pretty red and white quilt. I think if I was to win this, I would make more blocks and make it bigger. <laughs> Lana says, Kevin likes chicken fabric. Kevin likes anything chickens. <laughs> Deborah says, block was, a dif was difficult for me. Couldn't get it right. Yeah, and I had some people that they, I don't think, I, I can't remember. I thought I didn't give cut instructions because if you foundation piece and people cut to the size of the finished size square for foundation piecing and you have to cut everything bigger so you can trim it down because stuff does move a little bit and i think somebody uh, at my gill had issues with that so it, it's it's a lot i'm going to read you the name in a second here's the block i think this is darcy's but i want to make sure yeah i see her name on the back now it's darcy savelli very pretty and i like she used a lot of different shades uh, values of red. Make sure. Yep. <laughs> this next one is Vivian Calvi. She has two. I opened them up and then just so I could figure out who all to put in the drawing like right before. <laughs> so here is Vivian's block number one. What is this? I have to look at the front. I'm showing you all and I haven't seen them. <laughs> oh, it's flower, the center of flowers. Very pretty. And her second block here. Nice, nice. Got a bag. I can send them back home to the winner. That's nice. Thank you, Miss Vivian. <laughs> Let's see how many more I got in here. Just two more envelopes. Got a uh, Rose Jackson. Two blocks. 
Very pretty. See how she used the red in here too? And it's, you know, it's not as dark as this. You've got to really know how to play with value when you start using prints. But I like that she was brave enough to put this in. So very pretty. That's her block number one. And here's her block number two. And this is that same fabric as the red and a light beige. Very pretty. All right, last block is from Betty Ward. Pretty fabrics again. People using starch, so that's good. <laughs> Here's her block. This is going to make a pretty quilt. All right. And this is, so we did good this time. I only got two bags. Let me make sure nothing else is back here. Maddie says, very pretty blocks. Carissa says, oh, talking to somebody else. Jason says, very beautiful blocks all. Norma says, those blocks are beautiful. Nikki says, I like those too. Yeah, that block looks challenging, so I didn't do it either, but hopefully I can get back into the sewing of things next month. That's from Lana. Nikki says, whoever wins, Please post the pitch of the finished quilt. I can't wait to see it. Remo, I love foundation paper piecing. <laughs> All right, here we go. Over my head, I can't see. You can't see. I can't see. All right, here we go. Ugh. Let's see. Oh, I am so glad. I only put my name in to give them to Rose if I won because Rose hasn't won. <laughs> Rose, I'm so happy you won. Finally. <laughs> She's been trying to win. She's been doing two blocks every month and hadn't won until next to the last month. So we have one more uh, optional block that's coming out for this round. I will get it out either late tonight or uh, tomorrow. Let's try for tomorrow. <laughs> um, um, I just didn't get a chance to get it out. I've been doing other stuff. Today, I had the Winsleydale for what I'm cutting out here. I had the that order come in, my final order. Um, the foundation paper pattern, one of them was back ordered. So I had to notify my person to go ahead and order it and give them a link to order it somewhere else. Um, I'll get it later. It'll just be something I'm just going to have. I'm, I'm going to be stuck with. It's very difficult to cancel an order. Even when they back order it, it's like cost me more money to cancel it than what I'm going to get for it. So I may as well just keep it on the list and they'll send it to me. It could be six months from now when stuff is back ordered. So, oops, I wanted to put Rose's name in here so I don't forget who to send these to. Oh, you all are so nice saying congratulations to Rose. <laughs> So I'll get this out. This is going to Kevin on Saturday. I'm going to temporarily just sit that right here. So when I stand up and move, it'll be there. You all are so nice. <laughs> so um, I got all but one order out. I was trying to get a hold of a crystal uh, via email. I think sometimes because I have my own 
website address that it thinks that my most of my mail is spam with the new rules that the mail carriers are using so a lot of my information going to spam so that's the only one that didn't go out today i'll be sending out anything else on friday uh, because i'm not going out tomorrow in the heat i've been out two days in this heat and i don't want to go out again <laughs> um Let's see, what else did I want to talk about? I talked about retreat. I worked on retreat. What else have I done? Been just trying to sort some stuff. Um, oh, I sold the other ones that I had cut Saturday. I went ahead and sold those. I'm still... Uh, three, six, nine, ten. So I'm 13. I need to make 13 more. <laughs> uh, cut 13 more that's why you see all my fabrics are still here and then that will give me 15 and i'll be caught up with kevin and then i guess since it's out uh, i may as well go ahead and keep cutting so i can have my next 30 of at this to this point my next 30 ready to sew <laughs> I'm hearing my husband thinking he's coming to tell me, your mic's not working. <laughs> um, so, yeah, talking about mics, let's, let's talk about the mics. I don't know if this is an iPad issue or if this is a YouTube issue. Every once in a while, like, I look at how much memory my YouTube is taking and it takes up the most because that's what I basically bought this iPad for is to do YouTube and it takes up the most memory. Now I have like a 500, no, a 250 something K on this. I bought it about five years ago. It's the iPad pro from five years ago and 256 K of memory space. And I went and looked at it because when I was in here having issues with my mic last week on Saturday, I went and looked at it and it, it had that it was only using about maybe 150 of that K. So I'm thinking everything should be OK because I got an extra 100 K left. I also cut off the Bluetooth, cut the Bluetooth back on. Um, trying to connect the mic. It's a plug and play system, so you don't see it. It just plugs in and starts working with the receiver when it's in. So I decided to go and reinstall YouTube, and then my mics are now working. So whenever my mics are out, I guess I'm going to have to reinstall YouTube in order for them to work again. That's very difficult to do when I'm in the middle of a recording. I can't reinstall youtube because i'm using youtube so in the future i'm using you guys to help me out so we don't forget this stuff okay <laughs> in the future if the mics aren't working just say tell to make sure when you get off the live that you go uninstall and reinstall the uh, youtube software i don't know what is going on because there is no youtube new update because i do the updates when they tell me to, I do my iPad system updates when they come on. When I come in here, I come in here about an hour early to make sure that I've got power, uh, um, making sure I got the mics, things like that. I do come in here and then I might disappear back out and go do something else. I'm not in here to stay, but I do come and try to make sure that I've got it on the charger because there's been a time I've come in here and I've only got 25% left on my iPad. I forgot to put it on the charger. So I do try to make sure I come in on, on recording day and check my iPad status. So I don't know what's up with that because I do all the updates that they tell me to do and it's between iPad and YouTube. Everything else on my system works just fine. It's between iPad and YouTube, and I don't understand that. So, very strange. Hey, Brenda Foley. Lana says, 88 people are watching, but only 34 thumbs up. <laughs> Sharon says, hi, T and Quilters. Remo says, thank you to everyone giving her congrats. 
So it's just weird to me what's going on. I'm to the point, I, I went and almost bought a new iPad Pro. And then I said, okay, this time we're going to get like 512K. And I'm like, would that even matter? Because I, I have 256K and I was only at 150 usage and it still acted up. So I don't understand. Uh, it's a mystery to me, this technology stuff and what's taking up memory and what's not releasing memory. Um, so this is my first time using it. I'm going to try to go off. Remember to go off when I get off of here to check how much memory it used to do this one hour live. And I'm going to try to keep a little chart to see how that bar is progressing as I go. So it's going to be interesting. I can't do anything about it, but at least it'll be interesting. I still might have to break down and buy an iPad Pro. I'm looking at, um, I was looking at buying it from Apple. I could get for the same price of a 256K, I can get 512K if I go to Sam's and buy it and don't get it engraved. You know, uh, Apple will give you free engraving if you go through them and buy it. But I can get more product if I go buy it uh, from Sam's. It's still going to cost close to, I don't know, $1,300 for an iPad Pro. So I was trying not to spend my money, but it's like, I need new desktop computer. I need new iPad Pro, but I think I'm not going to, I was, and, and Apple was only going to give me like maybe $130 trade in. So I think I'm going to keep this iPad. What I do with this iPad most of the time when it's not recording is I just play games on it. So, so I think I'm just going to keep it for just for games since they're only going to give me, um, uh, $130 credit for it. Wait until 922 new products. So a new a new one is coming out. So I I guess I better wait. I haven't I looked to see. And she says Best Buy has an awesome deal. I, Sam's Club had an awesome deal. Like I said, what I was looking for would have cost me about three or four hundred dollars more if I had bought it from Apple themselves. But uh, Sam's Club is cheaper too. If if you are a club member, most times things are cheaper there. And then they had it on sale too. It was on sale at Sam's too. So I have to look at look at stuff and see. Um, I think the current iPad Pro has been out for two years, so they might be doing another one. But this one does have where well, they're using USB C, which is what the Android use. So. It's funny how Apple always, the Apple users don't like uh, Android products, but now we're all using the same charger base. So that's going to be cute. It's going to be cute. And I'm upset because I just bought four new chargers for my uh, iPad so that I wouldn't have to unplug the charger from here when I take it into my bedroom, when I take it on trips, like going to Kevin's house, and then they're going to USB-C. So I'm going to be moving it anyway. Okay. <laughs> And T says, that's the cost of a phone. Unfortunately, yes, they're all expensive. Everything is expensive. I like the iPad Pro because I can see better on the screen what's being projected out to you guys. I could record on my phone and it, the, the phone will be just fine, but I won't be able to see any of the detail when I put you all far away. And especially when I'm at Kevin's house is even further away. So you can see two people in the chat. So I do prefer recording on my iPad um, Pro and it's not just because I felt like feel like they have a better camera. I think either one of the cameras look good because I've done recording on my phone as well when I was in a crunch. So it doesn't really matter to me which one. And Lana says that's the way you do it. Shop around for Apple products. Yeah. So and I, I do have a Best Buy account, so I can always check Best Buy too. But normally, in my experience, uh, Sam's has been cheaper. I guess I need to go see if Apple is coming out with new product. Is that what you're telling me, Remo? They announced the new products are coming out. Because <laughs> I don't want to buy 
And maybe that's why it's cheaper at Sam's is because new product is coming in. I would prefer to buy the current technology since I'm, I'm one of those people that I don't drop my stuff. I don't abuse my stuff. So I tend to keep stuff for a long time. I buy a car. I can drive that car for 15 years. I buy this iPad system. I'm going to use it until, you know, the, the memory or whatever is not keeping up. And I think that's what, what it is because I bought this. Let's see, I retired in 2015, so that was eight years ago. And I probably bought this in 2016 at the latest. So this iPad is about seven years old, and it's just kept up with everything. But lately, it's been giving me some, it's either, it's not communicating very well with YouTube because it's doing everything else. That's what's very strange to me. So it's the new iPhone 15. So I'm not going to get a phone. Dorsey says, has anyone who hasn't, make sure you give T a thumbs up real quick. Thank you, Darcy. Sandy Agra says, woo, y'all. AC man just left. It was 91 today in the Bay Area. Girl, we all been over hundreds, girl. Get in line, Sandy. Get in line. <laughs> <laughs> she's saying also ipad and computers okay the only reason i would pay regular full price is if it's the current technology um so what i might do then is i will wait um maybe to the end of the year or to be or january or something like that i don't know maybe they'll have something going on around christmas or something if it's something new comes out because i really hate to pay full price, regular price for something. I want some kind of a discount off on it. So I'm kind of figuring when it first come out, it's not going to be much discounts on stuff. So we'll see. We shall see. I, I did look to see how long, how old the current iPad Pro is, and it was two years. So, and I thought about it and I go, I bet you they're going to come out with something else next year, but I didn't think it was going to be this year. So that's kind of what's going on with that. I'm trying to think, was there any was something else I needed to tell you? Oh, <laughs> just uh, thanking you guys for supporting uh, tea quilts. I just had a, I have plenty of them, but I just had one of my other angels pop up and do something nice for the channel. And, uh, that was really sweet, not looking for any recognition or anything back in return, but just do want you all to know that anything that you do for tea quilts is greatly appreciated, be it monitoring my chats, <laughs> be it um, sending me a birthday card. I appreciate all of that. And you all are just all my, um, my cyber angels. So thank you all so much. I appreciate that. And, and that was another reason why I decided to do, instead of doing retreats every two years, I decided to go ahead and try to do an odd year retreat as well, because there was so many people wanting to attend one of the retreats and my uh, even year retreats were all filled. So I'm so glad that I'm able to do that. It's a lot more work, but I'm so glad that I'm still able to do that so that I can meet more of you all in person. I do plan to go to Houston, Texas. I will be working a lot in Houston, Texas. And then when I am out, I'm going to be mostly trying to get some recording done for my channel, as well as having a meet and greet. So I will have a meet and greet in Houston. I'm not sure yet what day and time, because I don't want to conflict with one of the other groups that I would like to go to their meet and greet as well. So this is going to be interesting where I'm going to be uh, working with Butler in their booth. And I don't think they fully understand that I can't stay in the booth the whole time because <laughs> I'm, I'm explaining to them that I got to record for my YouTube channel. I got to record quilts. I got to have meet and greets. I got to do this. I got to do that. And they're going like, yeah, it's OK. That's fine. Just, you know, you can even record in the booth. And I'm like. I'm not talking about just recording just Butler booth. <laughs> I'm talking about I got to go show these people things, you know. <laughs> so it's going to be interesting to see how this um, relationship works. 
I don't think they fully understand what I do. <laughs> Dorsey says, it's supposed to be in the upper 90s tomorrow, and it's the first day of the Minnesota State Fair. Remo's got the hundreds. I think the hundreds is all up and down this little Midwest corridor here. Well, yeah, the Midwest up and down. Uh, cool Gail says, your weather is coming my way. Uh, my air conditioner has just started running after... A uh, two-day break of nice weather. Okay. And I think we're not slated to get back into the 80s until like next week, early next week, maybe. Or are you driving or to Texas or flying? Um, you know what? I grew up on the highway. I love the convenience of flying sometimes, but sometimes it can be a pain in the butt when you're waiting in lines. I do know that Texas is a long way, but I, I'm going to drive to Texas. <laughs> I love the uh, convenience of having my own car. I can stop at quilt shops along the way if I so desire. I have my car that I can bring back whatever I want to bring back. I don't have to have something shipped to me. I don't have to worry about what I can and can't take on the airplane and paying extra money that way. So I'm just one of those people that I like to drive. I like having my own car. I can do what I want, when I want, how I want. <laughs> T is a true educator, and also she is there for us. Her directness is what I like about her, so let's get those thumbs up. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes, you know, I be trying to not be as direct, like, you know, just not say anything, but then if I'm asked the outright question, it's like I have to answer it honestly. I give you my true opinion, and I'm not saying that my opinion is the best opinion. It's just what's best for me. You know, that's what I do. <laughs> Marsha Freeman says, Texas will gladly trade you weather. Oh, my gosh. It must be rain. Is it rain in there? Francis says, good night. Good night, Francis. So, yeah, is it raining there? Ugh, I got a lot of these A templates cut. I don't even feel like doing this today. I did come in here, as you all saw. I sold everything that I had before. Let me just lift it up just a little. I sold all of that. How many did I cut out Saturday? Two, four, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so I'll have, I got one extra A on my board, but you know, the other parts the B and C aren't cut. So, yeah. So that's currently where I'm at. Um, These stack of fabrics here I've used, but they're like uh, fabrics that I can cut again to get something else out of them. So they're just kind of sitting there. I don't know if I'm going to use them. This stack over here, I haven't cut yet. I don't even feel like cutting today. And then <laughs> and then I found my true scraps too of my African prints all after the fact. So, um my problem with these was that I could not I can't cut. I tried to cut like make piles of stuff that I could cut in in layers together, but it's not much of that that I can do. Uh, the problem with, Af not the problem, one of the best, great things, because I do like it when I'm making scrappy quilts, is that African prints change colors a lot. And with them changing colors a lot, you have to make sure this needs to be pressed. This got wrinkles down here. You have to make sure that it's not so dis uh so many changes that it looks like a different fabric because sometimes it does look like different fabric. And that's what I normally use it for is because it looks like a different fabric. And even now it's coming in into play good because I'm able to cut instead of one piece out of a fabric, I'm able to cut two, sometimes three shapes out of the same print. So... Thank you, Sandy, says those blocks are beautiful. 
Marcia says we are in a drought. Everything's currently munchy, wow, crunchy. Wow. Um. So yeah. Um. <laughs> this is the tedious part. Is cutting. Once it's cut. I sold this stuff in about five minutes, if that. Okay. <laughs> Cutting is the, the main thing. So let me see. So I'm just going to cut a strip off of here, and then I'm going to cut my pieces off the strip and try to see if I can fussy cut so that I got them looking like they came off the same fabric. So that's the problem with my African prints. Now, if you had prints that were more tone on tone or you just didn't care, then you could stack four or five pieces of fabric and cut out your templates. Me, I'm having to cut them out one by one. So it's not my favorite task right now, but I'm doing it because that's what I want. And when you want what you want, you got to do it. So it's going to take me forever to cut out <laughs> the start of 60 blocks eventually. I can't even get to 30 yet. I still got 2, 4, 6, 8. So I got 9 to get to 30. I got an extra one. So 9 minus 3. So I need at least 6 more. No, 6. Yeah. No, because I've already counted those. So... Two, four, six, eight. I need nine more, just like I said. <laughs> oh my gosh. And those blocks are beautiful. Thank you. I think, I can't remember if I read it or not, but thank you, Sandy. <laughs> and Marcia says, I live in the country, lots of. Fires everywhere. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and it's kind of dangerous to be uh, doing some fires doing a drought. So I'm going to see if I can put this on here. Long as it's in the. I'm just going to rough cut. Long as it's in the. Um, uh, what I don't want is in the seam allowance. I don't really care. So, so yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. I don't think anybody put down what they're working on today other than Benita said she was relaxed and she was like <laughs> doing nothing. <laughs> All right, so let's see. I'm going to see if I can pull out the blue. I'm going to cut the... Uh, It really doesn't matter. I just want to make sure whatever I put. I want to be in the middle, though. I can't see on this blue with this orange because it's the complementary color and it's making it brown, which my template is orange, okay? <laughs> so I can't see the center. And I want to make sure all the other color is, is, um, about even, but I can't see because it's just a big old glob of orange. <laughs> Mimo says she's making my alphabets that are that the Viking used for the murder mystery. So the Viking call along. Yeah, I went over there. I said, ooh, we they don't they shut that down once they start. If you don't get in early, you don't get in at all over there. So I got my fabric up here in the front of me because I 
it was easier once I got off the live to pull it up here. I guess I need to move it back so you can see. That's why I like having the iPad. I can see what you all see. And then I got to put a dot up here for the top. Hmm. I don't even feel like I'm not in a cutting mood today. <laughs> so now I want another one with the blue in the middle, sort of, kind of. See, they're not even. I'm trying to make them even and they're not even. I just need to stop. <laughs> All right. Um, let me just move them for a minute. I don't know what happened to my... I don't know where I'm cutting now. Like on the line, it doesn't matter. Just get it cut, girl. Darcy is ironing a lot of scraps so I can get ready. To start on her Wednesday. Now, did you get your uh, package? You get your stuff, Darcy? Everything except for uh, Crystal's order has been mailed out. I've been trying to get in touch with her. Ouch. Okay. So I guess I am putting this on here. So I need to move this up <laughs> into a position up here because I don't have enough room to lay out the pieces where it's at. All right. Um, yes, I did. Thank you. Good. Um, Lana says your blocks look good on your back wall. Thank you. I, I'm one of those people, I like to do the whole one block at a time, and I'm trying to do like Kevin, who works with one, or in this case, three templates, or shape at a time, or one part at a time, and do all of them. I am not that person. I might end up getting to 30 and saying, I'm just going to make my 30 blocks, <laughs> but I'm always going to be behind because of the type of fabrics that I'm using, so I don't know. It takes me so much longer to cut. I would, I'm bored. <laughs> okay. So now this one will have a little yellow orange showing. So we'll just put it here in the blue. And trying to keep my scraps because I'm too stingy to throw something away, okay? <laughs> I want to use it all. I got crumb stuff. Okay. One more. Um, I 
And I don't normally cut sitting down either. <laughs> and I definitely don't do a whole lot of cutting sitting down. So that's different too. Didn't get that little dog ear. Let me go back and get it. All right. Elias says, uh, hi, T and everyone. Brenda Foley just went back and watched Drawing. Congrats, Rose. <laughs> um, we should be at 100% with the thumbs up. That's from Remo JS. <laughs> My brother says, good night, everyone. Stay safe still. Uh, I only see 74 thumbs up. Come on in here. It, it only takes a second. That's, uh, Darcy. <sighs> you know what? <laughs> we cut two B templates and two C templates, but it's eight o'clock. The time is up. I thought I was going to have more time. When I originally scheduled the live, I forgot all about, I had to do the optional block drawing. Like when I set it up, I wasn't thinking about it. So we really didn't get to do a whole lot of cutting here today, but it'll be here Saturday when I come back. <laughs> um, I'm trying to like, I got my niece's wedding is next Saturday. So I am trying to finish something that's a wedding gift, although she's having a wishing well only wedding. But I had started her gift back in May. I'm like, she's getting this gift. <laughs> if you sent out the invitations and now you got wishing well, it's too late. So she's going to get uh, my gift. I got to get it off my long arm frame. I was having some issues with thread breakage. And then I started using it for mailing and sorting. Excuse me, mailing and sorting. So I had cleaned it off earlier today. And then I got the next order stuff that I needed to send out. And so I got all my scale and tape and bags and everything is back over there. So I got to go back and clean it up so I can get this quilt off of here. Uh, next week, I probably will not be live, just so you all have a heads up. Uh, my niece's wedding family is coming in and out of town. They're going to be, some of them are coming here, so I got to clean uh, areas. I got to cook food for one day. So I am going to be busy next week. So I won't have, I'm not going to make time to do the lives. I guess uh, Saturday I'll be at the wedding because isn't next Saturday? Yeah, next Saturday is September 2nd. Yeah, Labor Day weekend. <laughs> so I'm just going to take it off. I normally come on on holidays with you all, even come extra on some holidays. But this time I'm going to take off just because it's just way too much going on. I normally do Labor Day at my house. This time they're having me do it on Sunday so that people out of town can come and then they can all go back home on Monday. So that's different <laughs> and I'm having more people than I normally have. So uh, I'm going to be busy. So <laughs> Remo talk about thumbs up. We're having a tea party. <laughs> Sheila Willis says, what is wishing well wedding? A wishing well wedding is where they have a, what they call a wishing well it's a basically some form of a box that's been crafted. They're very e elaborate. And then you just bring cards with money that are put into a box. That's uh, And they're not wanting any gifts. Uh, I think nowadays these young folks, they're totally different than, you know, what we have historically done. I've been to many weddings in my life where they've had uh, some form of a wishing well. You always have a wishing well at a wedding, a place for cars to go. But now you got people outright stating that they don't want any other gifts. They just want the um, want money. And, you know, stuff costs a whole lot of money. And so I think they're trying to get some of their money back. They're also trying to plan, you know, not my niece per se, but they're planning like their honeymoons. And so just getting some of that cash back some kind of way is very helpful. It's also interesting that now we're in the electronic age and we're Venmoing Cash App and Zelle. And so it's like, 
you just send it electronically. You don't even have to <laughs> have to do a card, I guess, if you don't want to. So, but um, it's just amazing. Um, you know, I just yeah, I let people do whatever they want to do because you could miss out on something really nice that somebody had intended to do for you when you put on your invitation that it's wishing well only. Not wishing well preferred, but wishing well only is what, you know, how it's written. But it's like so bad, so sad because I got the invitation 4th of July weekend and I had started on this project. I had even bought stuff like early in the year and then I had uh, made it at quilt retreat, made the quilt top. And so now I'm quilting it. So she's going to get a quilt whether she wants it or not. <laughs> um, so. It is what it is. Um, so that's going to be it, guys. It's 8.05 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time. I will see you all this Saturday, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time for two-hour live cut and chat. Because <laughs> I didn't cut a thing. <laughs> Sorry, I just hit the mic for cut and chat. And uh, we'll be back here. Teresa Forrester saying, where can I find info on the uh, Wensleydale quilt? Um, email me and I'll, I'll get you some links to that. I was actually ordering, but I placed my last order. I think I've ordered like four times now. And I have to have a minimum order and I don't have anyone else. Uh, I don't know. I have to look in my emails. So email me and let me see if I've got somebody else interested. Maybe I have enough to put an order in. Um, the, the book is, it depends on uh, what the pricing is on that day, but around $45 for the book. It's 105 if you want the templates for all six quilts that need templates in the book. The book has 12 quilts and recipes. And then if you want just the Winsleydale templates, it's about $28. And foundation patterns are on back order. So I had somebody, I had to cancel their order. And uh, But email me either way. I'll make sure you get what you need if you want to do this project, Teresa. So just email me. Um, so that's going to be it, everybody. You all stay blessed. Be safe and quilt out. See you Saturday.